All right, guys, so today is the day. We got somebody coming to pick up the goats here in just a little bit, and we'll see exactly how they load up and go and do. Dean Family Acre. As we get into this video, I wanted to just recap a few of our good moments with the goats on our farm. Right, guys so today is the day we got somebody coming to pick up the goats here in just a little bit and we'll see exactly how they load up and go and do um, we've been trying to do some of this at least trying to move the goats to a new home for almost nine months now so uh, we're kind of looking forward to this and um, we're still trying to figure out what we're gonna do with little Richie um, you guys comment below what you think we should do with him um, not sure if that'll be at the end of this video or another one but So as we've kind of mentioned before, there are a couple different reasons why we're getting rid of our goats. Um, you can check out that video here. I'll link it up above. And um, one of those is just, they've kind of used their purpose here in regards to clearing some of our property. And secondly is um, the field, right? Woo! Right there. Um, we don't have use for it. Uh, we don't have use of it anymore. Um, so that kind of cut down on how much we could rotate and ended up just not making it work out real well. So um, that kind of just transitioned us. Um, we're looking forward to what we're going to do when we get these goats moved um, to a new home. I'm thinking we're going to do something with this area back here and probably turn this into, give us an idea. What do you, what do you think? Um, I'll tell you in just a little bit what we're thinking, um, but then we'll have a good idea of, of that. So um, again, this right here is um, Tulip and Juniper and Richie right there. So we will, uh, we'll update you. I asked the couple if they minded us videoing a little bit and they said they didn't mind. So hopefully that'll go well and we can maybe video up. at least us trying to load them up and that kind of thing. So that could be interesting as it usually is. Again, thanks so much guys for watching. And um, if you haven't already, definitely go down below and give us that like button and um, just let us know what you've learned about goats over the last couple of years. Um, again, we've had goats about five years and um, for five years went really, really well. Last spring and summer we had a tough time um, with our first set of kids and uh, part of that's just a learning experience part of it's just everything else we had going on with our family personal family and um, just trying to juggle all that and just determine it was just more than we wanted to handle so we're going to kind of transition to a little bit more kind of gardening and um, uh, some fruit and um, that, those kinds of things maybe some trees that kind of stuff so hopefully you guys um, can appreciate some of that and uh, if you'd like to see something specifically for us to highlight let us know we got a bunch of different um, videos on just uh, planning different things around our farm.
right, guys, so you can see them going down the driveway. Uh, Tulip and Juniper both found new homes about 40 minutes up the road. So hopefully they have a good time getting acclimated and uh, they have a billy, so I'm sure they'll get acclimated sooner rather than later. And um, let's go check on Richie now and see how he's doing. Again, uh, looking forward to seeing what you guys comment in regards to what, what you think we should do. I know he doesn't need to stay alone very long. Um, and he is already not very happy that they are gone. What is it, buddy? All right, Richie. So what's the word? Huh? What's the word? What you think? Huh, buddy? Huh? Well, I know he's going to be miss missing his mom and his aunt. We're going to find him a good home. He's not going to stay here by himself. Although, he would probably be all right if we came out here and just spoiled him rotten all the time. But I know that he wants some companionship other than the barn cats. All right, Richie. Woo! Goodness. Huh? Goodness. Huh? Alright guys, so as you can see, we were able to rehome the two nanny goats that we've had for, oh goodness, almost four years now. I'm um, pushing five and uh, they're going to a great home and they were going to send us updated photos and stuff. Maybe we can share those on our Instagram and Facebook page. Speaking of which, if you haven't already, definitely go check those out um, and follow and or like those. I think on Facebook, we're getting close to 800. Um, those who follow us so um, go check that out and uh also things are starting to bloom give you a little highlight of the azaleas in this video um, if you haven't seen that already go back and check it out um, that we planted previously they all seem to be doing well we also have daffodils they're doing great uh, if you haven't seen that video go check out that one here because uh, we planted about 250 last year planted a few more this year and honestly i still got a few more that i need to put in the ground so we're probably going to get those in the ground pretty soon you can also hear Richie's not a happy camper. Um, he's by himself, he's never been by himself, and he's been with his mom since day one. And um, they were super bonded. We'll see how they do. Hopefully, um, they hang in there pretty well. Um, I do have one contact who is potentially gonna help us with, um, with him and uh, having him a good pet home. I think he would be an excellent pet for somebody um, and just to spoil rotten. And, uh, cause he's, he's, a, he's a good little guy and uh, doesn't, doesn't mess with anything or anything like that, just kinda keeps himself, hangs around, and um, it would be good if he could go to a home like that. You ought to also be able to see um, some awesome flower videos that we've done in the past and upcoming. I know that we've been starting seeds. If you, if you have not already, um, then now's the time if you're in zone 8A, especially for tomatoes, peppers, etc. cetera, um, those warm season plants. We'll be having a video about our garden prep in the next couple of weeks, so be sure and follow along. Um, that reminds me if you hadn't subscribed already do that and ring that bell like mike tyson did in the 1980s because that way you know every time we post a video um, we keep saying that we might post more than one a week just because of the time of year and everything going on the last couple weeks where we thought we might be able to do that just other stuff happened couldn't do it if you guys would like to see more than one video definitely comment down below and um, just share what you might like to see or if you want us to highlight something else here on our place uh, for now we're uploading on sundays um, usually at three o'clock or just thereafter when needed and uh, just be sure and check us out Thanks again for watching. Hope you guys are having a blessed day and enjoying this beautiful weather I know we are here in South Carolina. You guys have a blessed day 